The flight path to Heathrow Airport is directly over South London. Flight KQ100 from Nairobi in Kenya on Sunday was captured on a security camera. It's thought a man was concealed in the landing gear compartment of the Boeing 787. The body plummeted about a kilometer from the plane, landing in a backyard belonging to one of those houses just behind me. The stowaway landed here on a concrete path and some astroturf. Witnesses say a man was sunbathing in the backyard, only about a meter away from where the corpse landed. One particular neighbor who, as I understand it, saw uh, the remains of this body is obviously quite shocked. Security at some airports in Africa isn't as tight compared to airports in the West, but after 9-11, security checks at Nairobi's airport were increased. Still, as this BBC documentary shows... And he would have had to climb up as quickly as possible along this bit of metal and then into the wheel arch. It's not physically difficult to get into the landing gear compartment. Surviving, though, is nearly impossible. On long-haul flights, planes fly at an altitude of more than 11 kilometers, where it can be minus 60 degrees Celsius. So the chance of dying through the cold is, is very great as well. It's a nine-hour flight from Kenya. Uh, it's unlikely they will have survived that, uh, but then the stowaway has to face the fact that the gear is going to come down on approach to land. If they're unconscious, they'll fall out of the undercarriage. When the Kenya plane landed at Heathrow, police found food, water and a bag in the landing gear compartment. British authorities are now trying to identify the stowaway and they're working with officials in Kenya to figure out how the man got on board the plane in the first place. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, London. So sadly, this is far from the first incident of its kind in Britain. It seems to happen at least once every few years. In one awful case from 2001, two young teens were found dead in a wheel well at Gatwick. Here in Canada, two men survived a trip to Toronto in a wheel well in 1990, and a man survived a flight to Dorval in 2002. But a month later, a man was found dead above the landing gear on a plane in Toronto. 